Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. AMD just finished up their CES keynote and they made some major announcements when it comes to mobile chips. And if you're a regular viewer of the channel, you know over here we love our Ryzen mobile chips, especially the APUs, and uh, they just announced a bunch of stuff. I mean, we've got some stuff going back to Vega Graphics and Zen 2, but we've also got some Zen 3 with Vega Graphics. They also announced some new Mendocino chips with those 2CU RDNA 2 graphics, which are great for thin and light laptops. But I gotta say, the most exciting announcement, at least for me, was their new AMD Ryzen 740 series. So we've got Zen 4 on the CPU cores, and we finally have RDNA 3 graphics in an APU. Now, I will admit that these new 740 chips aren't going to be in handhelds. They're actually made for higher-end, more powerful laptops, but this will trickle down. Unfortunately, they didn't announce any 7000 series U chips with RDNA 3 graphics, but we've got some new stuff with RDNA 2, and like I mentioned, they went as far back as Vega with some of this stuff, which is a bit odd. But taking a quick look at a breakdown on what was announced, we've got some new Mendocino chips. This is their 7020 series for everyday computing. We got the Barcelo R Ryzen 7030 series for mainstream, thin and light. Rembrandt R is going to be their 7035 series for premium, thin and light. Phoenix Point is their 7040 series for elite, ultra thin, and these do have those new RDNA 3 graphics along with Dragon Range, which is their high-end chips, and these look absolutely insane for mobile CPUs or mobile APUs. And when it comes to their new 7040 series with those RDNA 3 graphics, we've got three SKUs. The Ryzen 5 7640HS, this is going to be one of their lower-end ones, 6 cores, 12 threads, and it will do up to 54 watts. The Ryzen 7 7840HS, 8 cores, 16 threads, again up to 54 watts. And the 7940HS, 8 cores, 16 threads, up to 5.2 gigahertz. But, you know, going back to their lower end model, the 7640HS, and uh, taking a look at the new graphics, this one's going to be known as the AMD Radeon 760M. We've got 8 CUs and a clock up to 2800 megahertz. These are based on RDNA 3. And taking a look at their highest end SKU again, these are going to be known as AMD Radeon 780M graphics, 12 CUs, and a clock up to 3000 MHz on this iGPU. I mean, this is going to offer some amazing performance, and again, based on RDNA 3. Now, aside from those, a lot of other chips were announced. They're actually up on their website right now. We've got those Mendocino, we've got some new Zen 3 Plus with uh, RDNA 2 graphics. From what we have right now, like the 6800U to the 6900HX, I don't think we're going to see a huge jump in GPU performance on those. But this is really just the start of our DNA 3 graphics on these APUs, and it will trickle down. So something like the 7800U, it hasn't been announced. I don't even know if that's what they're going to be calling it, but it would be comparable to something like the 6800U. But instead of having an RDNA 2 iGPU, we'd have RDNA 3. And another great thing about these new chips is they will be supporting faster DDR5 RAM. So uh, DDR5 5600, great, we could overclock some of the little mini PCs with the Ryzen 6000. But LP DDR5X at 7500 megahertz is really going to help out with that iGPU performance. Right now with the 6000 series, we're kind of locked right there at 6400 megahertz from everything that's on the market right now. But, you know, adding that 7500 megahertz RAM to something like the new Radeon 760M with 8 CUs and a clock up to 2800 megahertz, we're going to get some amazing performance. But the one I'm most excited about, obviously, is that Radeon 780M. 12 CUs, up to 3 gigahertz. I mean, that's insane for an iGPU. And I'll tell you right now, this paired up with 7500 megahertz DDR5 RAM is going to be on par with something like a GTX 1060. And it might not sound like a lot if you're talking about desktop GPUs and things like that, but this is a mobile platform. We're going to see this in mini PCs and handhelds down the road. So yeah, I'm really excited about this and I wanted to get a quick video out of the way. Uh, if you're interested in learning more, I will leave links to AMD's website. You can check out all of their new chips that they announced. And along with these higher end chips, we got some lower end chips that we might see in handhelds and mini PCs. Actually, I'm pretty sure we will down the road, but this is really what I'm excited about right now. The 740 series with RDNA 3 graphics. 
But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Really appreciate you watching. If any major updates come out and, you know, some benchmarks on these new iGPUs, I will be posting in my community section. And I'm sure going to try to get my hands on one of these laptops. I know it's going to be quite expensive, but I'm going to try my hardest when these are released because I'm really interested in testing out these new integrated graphics. If you have any questions or thoughts on these new iGPUs, let us know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.